Hello everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to some more Pets Aside Not Required. Today we're going to be playing, um, the Mignon? 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 I don't know how you say this word. Uh, I sound very dumb right now. Uh, I'm going to say Mignon, but I think it's wrong. Correct me in the comments. Anyways, he gets one of each pet, uh, to start. You get a 100% chance to get additional pets when you recruit them, but you have negative 150 planting and watering speed and minus 40% damage to start. That's the only really downside. I think what I'm going to do is a lot of fishing, and we're going to start on spring too. Apparently it's raining. Um, we'll see how difficult this is. I haven't tried it, but look at our little army. Look at this. It's great. And what was our starting weapon? I didn't even pay attention. Um, hard to say. Hard to say. It is... Is it the mole? I think it's the mole. which is like very thematic. Anyway, uh, I think what we want to do here is focus on like fishing and mining. So like quality bait seems incredible to level up. Yeah, we have the mole weapon, which summons a mole. Oh, we got a big fish there. That's pretty good. 50% chance to gain additional pet whenever recruiting one. All right, look, 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 this, this is what we're doing. <laughs> um, I guess we don't need water capacity if all of our pets are doing all of the watering. Oh man, kind of want pull day. We don't have to lean into mining. We can just go fishing. A lot of crit damage. I think fishing is really good. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna reroll. We don't need big cans, and that's like a hilarious name. Dry season. We're getting some crazy stuff. Um, lower crop growth speed, but 50% increased future mining and fishing yield changes. Like some legendary. This is. We're like on pace for an absolutely legendary run here. And a, a very early portion of the game for some busted stuff. Uh, give me that fish, please. Thank you. One attack size per one resistance. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a second. All right, we don't have any. We would lose a lot right now. We would lose a lot. I'm going to reroll. I don't I could do better. Give me pull day. Give me pull day all day. All right, shops open. We don't have a ton of money. So I'm going to mine these two things and then we're going to hopefully go buy a weapon that helps us. We do have this cat that's doing damage for us. We also have this golden retriever that's also um, picking up items, which is nice. We get a katana. The katana is OK. Um, the only problem with the katana is it goes in one direction. And from what I've seen, it doesn't like upgrade more. It just like chops down. It's really strong. The scythe I know is really good. It also has decent base. I'm going to take the scythe for now. And I guess it doesn't really matter what else we're taking here. Realistically, but we do need to plant the scythe. Uh, just watch my cat like my fall papers, off the papers. desk. He's been a menace. Anyways, yeah, we do need to pick up that weapon because that's going to be a problem here in a second because we just don't have any damage. All right, scythe acquired. Let's just continue our fishing journey. I think that's the best strategy here. You're going to level up a lot. We can get negative resistance. I don't know how I feel about that so much, though. A lot more fish spawns, though. You know what? You go with the environmentalist route. 
more levels. When was more levels ever bad? Um, Gust is okay, but we could do better, I think. Quality bait is incredible. <laughs> yes. Let's go to the other fishing spot. Let our elephant do his do his job over here. Our mining speed, not incredible. Not not what we excel at at all. Oh look, a cat. How many wait? Oh no. Oh no, I may have messed up just now. <laughs> I may have messed up bad. Uh, I wanted to look and see how many cats we had, but I think I just closed the shop on accident. Damn it. Okay. Don't try and look at your inventory while you're in the shop. Uh, because it closes the shop. Well, we were going to have, like, some number of additional cats, but, and more weapons. Instead, we're going to be struggling for a minute here. <laughs> Unfortunate. But I guess that's part of learning a new game. Um... We will continue taking bull day. I guess we need crit chance. Now, like, we're, this is bad. <laughs> this is not good. We needed another weapon. Uh, crit chance, crit damage, bulwark is interesting. But I don't think we can realistically take it here. I'll take critter. Her chance up makes sense. Uh, and we'll continue with the environmentalist path, I guess. Now, one thing I'm hoping, I, I don't know if I'm going to get, like, compensation for skipping weapons. <laughs> you know, like, on the next shop. Like, please open up. Yep, thank you. Oh, the pet's gone too. That's... We took a beating there. Um, we could Tongue Lash, which is basically um, the whip from that one game that has vampires in it. As it says in the thing there, it is it is the vampire whip. I think that'd be pretty good here. I think it let us buy a lot of them, so that's probably good. Buy this. Let's buy as many of these as we can. Okay, yeah, we're down a pet, but I, I mean, it is what it is. Wow, our mining speed is pretty bad. Okay, so assuming we can defeat this boss without too much trouble, he should drop quite a lot. Um, 45% crop growth speed. No, we don't care about that. Do we care about juice? Do we care about ore spawns is the question. I don't know. I think we do better. Attack frequency is probably just better. Just more attack speed. Tongue lash. Give me attack size and amount, please. I think there's another one there that might let us level it up. Yeah. Crit chance and crit damage. Thank you. Yeah, leveling up weapons kind of kind of the thing that, like this is the one thing you have to do in this game uh crit chance and xp gain 20 crit chance and attack size and we have how much crit damage 55 percent i mean it's pretty good i i can i can be convinced that's the correct choice I think the thing I like the most about this game so far is the amount of like choices you get per run is just astounding and the amount the the change that it has on your run 
Uh, fishing yield and damage is just like an easy, an easy W there. And uh, those are a reroll, I think. Coin gain when a weapon is harvested. No. Well, oh, crit damage and coin gain is fine. Our crops are not in the best of shape, but that's, you know, it's the life we live. All right, we got to get some pets now. Our crops are going to grow significantly faster. We have acquired two extra capybaras. Uh, I would like to get attack size up. Got to go wide. And then we don't have a ton of money here, so I'm going to get that step into the shop. I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to be a fool and. Do that thing I did last time. I will purchase. As many of these as I can. Yeah, escaping the shop sends him away. That's. I don't know how I don't know how that's supposed to like work. I get it. Like, I understand why he's not, can't just be there permanently, mechanically. Um, but that is kind of a feel bad moment if you do happen to press the escape button while you're in there. Especially when you're trying to do what I was looking for. 1% damage per apple spawn. Maybe. It's like 20%. Lose 20 max health, but who cares? Now apple spawn scale our damage. That seems totally fine. Um, one max health per level heal. That's that's the type of number I can agree with. All right, we gotta pick up some more weapons here. Uh, fishing speed, fishing. No, I take attack speed. The we still have to keep up with our actual, like, ability to defeat enemies. Even though growing our economy is also strong. I'll take two piercing on this one. We'll see. Amount and damage. Amount and crit chance. Yeah, we're going with crit this time. Shop opened. Everything's clear. Plenty of money. We're going to buy this cat. It's going to help greatly. We're going to buy as many twin sites as possible and then tap out on pumpkins, I guess. I sh probably shouldn't worry too much about mining. Should probably really only worry about fishing. I'm noticing the enemies look different too, which is a nice touch. Um, we could repurpose tools here. Our fishing speed's already like really good. It's a big damage boost for us. Let's hippity hop our way over here. Um, yeah, our fishing speed's really good. I think we just fished up a can. And here's a legendary fish of some kind and a giant bee, whatever that is. Fasting ritual. 25 damage, attack size, crop yield, minus 25 max HP, and you don't. Your max HP is stuck at whatever that number is. I don't love that. For what we're doing right now. 10% damage is um, something to get behind. Look at our army of cats. This is this is how we win. It does take like almost a whole minute to grow our we new weapons, though, which is kind of rough. I need some more. Uh, I'll take wisdom. I need some more planting space. 
That is where I'm at right now. So let's, uh... Hello? Oh, bye. Bye. I kept clicking the thing, and I was like, why isn't it buying? Um, toad seed, toad oil seed. Toad, toad oil is pretty strong. It's like dry quality, I would say. Pretty, pretty S tier ninja stuff. All right. More sites, more pets, cats, please. No. Um, elephant. Elephants do all that watering for us. I don't. I mean, sloth is pretty good, but I don't like the move speed down. Attack size up is just good. Like, it's just good. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't I don't know what else to say about it. Give me all of this stuff. All right, attack size, crit chance, and crit damage. Again, we're kind of going into that. Crit stuff. All right, um, attack duration and amount. Yeah, we'll drop that toad oil. It's quite useful, I would say. Amount four. Yeah, yeah, more, more size, the better. Actually having like farm plots to plant stuff on is pretty good too. Crit chance, crit damage, attack frequency. Um, I guess that's fine. I don't know which is actually better for the oil specifically, but it work. 2.5% coin gain at the start of the day. I mean, that's probably decent, but at the same time, what if we just increase the amount of fish we got? Oh, we found all the fish in spring. Achievement hunting is what we're doing now. Uh, damaged orbs actually good. Knockback's kind of useful in this game in a way that I normally in this genre. Uh, in this genre, I normally would say that knockbacks are not what you want to be doing. I think typically, like if you're using knockback, you're not defeating enemies, and like, what are you? What are you trying to accomplish in this one? It seems to be quite good. Because of the amount of enemies thrown at you. And their and their move speed and their HP. All right, let us buy. We did water beam last time. You get bouncy ball, high critical hits. Sure. Then we'll just buy as much as much crops as we can. Look at these look at these bugs that look like they want to turn into hair crosses. Also, I have like some type of mantis trauma now from playing vampire hunters. Because seeing that giant thing charge at me is like, ah, I gotta immediately immediately want to run away. We will add one bouncy ball. You'd think the trauma would come from like I've mentioned before that episode of Buffy with the with the mantis lady, but no, no, apparently not. This is it's fire potions like good, right? But I don't know. I want to commit to it, whereas sleight of hand is just fine. It's just fine. Just got a hack away. Bouncy ball. Uh, one amount, crit chance, crit damage. Yep. Yep, all in on crits. All in on crits. And then pets. Give me cats. Dogs? Okay. It's not the cats I asked for, but I will accept the golden retrievers.
I'm gonna mine these two things and then hit the shop. Just for some little extra... Extra money to spend here. Oh good. There's gonna be a lot more cats. Let's get toad oil. And then... Just buy as much as we can crop wise. We get to let our pets do all the all the farming for us, which I love. I love that for us. And then we just go fishing. We just have a good time going fishing. I will take... Give me 5% damage and 10% fishing yield. I mean, like, we're at day 9, we're level 32. Why not just keep leaning into it? We do actually have to come back and pick up the... Props, though. That part's kind of important. Like, <laughs> they, they can't grab the crops for us. Um, apple spawns. Don't I have something that scales off apple spawns or is it apple spawn rate? No, it's per apple spawns. So it's 15% damage. Okay. I'm in. I'm in for it. Also, we get HP on leveling up. So, I mean, going crazy on fishing for XP is not the craziest idea. Yes. Yes, we will take the tackle box. And all of the fish. Toad oil. Uh, crit chance. I mentioned this before, but in this game you can multi-crit, so that seems better. I think four amount. Seems better. Two. Um, Reroll here. Look for crit. Attack size is probably no, we just take heavy swings. Here's about projectile speed when we got the other stuff going on. It's a great bouncy ball. And then one plot and buy all the watermelon we can, I guess. We will help do a little bit of the planting at first. I think is a decent idea. We're also like pretty injured right now, so I should probably be looking for apples. Might need some more attack speed. Uh, more crit chance is fantastic. Honestly, the more bosses they want to send at us, the better right now, because every boss is going to give us two pets. And we seem to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, we've reached max level on Bouncy Ball. What an achievement. All right, that one wasn't the one who had the who had the pets. This one. Ah, oh my gosh, damage. OK, we have like no armor or HP, so uh, getting touched is bad. Cats, cats. Yeah, scales with the level. Welcome. Oh, I think we just added three. That's a good thing. We have a little army with us here. Um, attack duration per one percent missing health. No, we can't. We can't do that. We could get friendly here to get higher chance of grabbing more pets. I think thematically we have to. I think I would be down for a little bit of HP regen. And also, I'd say it'd be interesting if they added more pets too that like had different things about them. I think wooden shield, I guess. Um, more combat pets. 
or like a fishing pet and a mining pet and stuff like that. I guess we could go to the shop since he's open. Uh, we have 25,000 also. Wow. <laughs> when when did that happen? All right, let's get tongue lash probably maxed out. I'm going to max out our farm space too and then buy pumpkins and all of this and all of this. Okay, well. Things have happened. I'll take 10% crit chance. Basically, I take crit chance over everything right now, I think. We have, what, 80%? Like, baseline 80%, not counting what's on weapons. Because, like, if you look at uh, our attack, well, most of these are pretty modest. But, like, this one has 105 plus this. So, it should, I don't believe that takes that into account. Uh, I will take crit chance here. So it's actually like significantly higher than what it says on the actual weapon card, I believe. Well, it has to be right, because if my base crit is that much higher, all right, more crit chance. Let's do a little fishing. I wonder if we get enough cats, if they could like solo everything. Tongue Lash, crit damage, and crit chance, and crit chance, and crit damage. We love that. We got a ton of seeds here. Uh, I'm seeing some large crit numbers right now. A <laughs> large plus an army of cats. So that's like, that's a win for me. Also, they're like little black and white cats. I love that. All right. Um, I guess more doggos is fine. Let us. OK, now we got some two cans to add. <laughs> Let's get the mole turret maxed out. And then I, I guess we just buy whatever. And then we'll just hang out in the in the pond with our fishing stuff. Uh, yep. Give me that improved rod. The screen really does become quite a mess at the end game of this. Huh? I also don't know if since this is my first time doing like season two, right? I don't know if it's a 15 minute uh, run or if it's a, like a 20 minute run. I assume it's 15. Um, I'll take the single pierce, I think. Uh, hey. Hey, elephants, do you guys want to water the crops, guys? Do you guys want to like do your job? I'm really disappointed right now and their lack of efficiency. Really letting me down. All right, more crit chance. The mole is maxed. I guess we can step in here. We don't have a lot of money, but enough to max that out enough to buy some pumpkins and we're good. We're good to go now. We'll just plant what we have. And so we have all of our weapons pretty early. And then just move back and forth. One gain per crit. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't matter. Crit damage and damage. Here's about projectile speed. Not I. Well, I mean, it matters, but not here. Look at that bouncy ball, though. Pretty satisfying. Fishing yield, a tackle box. Yeah, tackle box goes crazy. Give me all of these things. Try. It's kind of hard to see if there's more fishing spots. A 
attack duration crit chance resistance we lose a little bit of fishing speed but like we already have a ton i will take i will take crit chance on the size even though i like taking the extra scythes i again we're going with full-on crit chance so it makes sense i would like uh, practice makes perfect. We will become the perfect fisherman. We have $43,000. I don't really know how we're getting so much money. You know what? I bet it's the dogs picking up all this stuff. <laughs> Compared to when I didn't have all the dogs. This character feels kind of broken. Oh, hello. Watch out. That would have been really, really bad timing to just lose there, too. We're also out of seeds. Let's... No pets here. That's a shame. Uh, let's spend all of our money. Hey, okay, cool. Now you guys can get to work. What do you think this is? This is, like, some normal game? No, no, no. We're, we're in POW world. You gotta work to live on this farm. I would like more heavy swings, please. We're level 46. Not... Again, not like my highest either, because I've definitely gotten higher levels, which is surprising considering what I've done. Um... No? Yes. Considering we're about to grab. Uh... All right, golden retriever. We will add more golden retrievers. And then we're going to add cats, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, our plants do grow a little bit slowly, so maybe that's why I guess we're lower level, but um, but you can't handle my army of cats, so <laughs> what does it matter? It is a shame there's no pet damage stat, though, I will say. I think crit chance and resistance. Like, fishing speed, again, is mostly, mostly irrelevant at this point. Mostly. I guess we can step in the shop. He might have a pet. Okay. I will I will choose to acquire three elephants. How many pets do we have? We have eight dogs, six elephants, one raccoon, four toucans, three capybaras, and twelve cats. And we are the Frog Lord, ruling over everyone. Uh, Beefy is just good. It's just good. I'm curious, I feel like the mole weapon is a little underwhelming. Oh, Wumbo! Wumbo! Wumbo means we win. Win a run as Minion. Reach... Uh... Max level hit back to Bouncy Ball, find all fish, unlock Spring 3. Okay, mole turret did uh, 238 or 234, 229, 4 million damage. No, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I was not. That's 2 million damage. 2 million, 4 million, 4.5 million, and 2.8. Uh, 
Toad Oil and Toad Tongue did the top damage here? What I'm seeing? Top DPS by a lot. Seems like AoE stuff does better. I mean, this game has just hordes of monsters, so that's it. We killed 7,600 things. Hit level 50 again. Pretty good run. Pretty good. Not sure. We gotta unlock some other things. I'm gonna run without getting hit. That's gonna be hard. 100% projectile speed. I'm gonna run with 10 less than 10% health. That's gonna be incidental. We gotta get fat, higher coins. There's a money frog. Move speed, enemy spawns, resistance, crop yield. Okay. I mean, there's still plenty of stuff to do. Uh, one thing I would like to see, um, the thing that Brotato had that's kind of a big deal is showing like some type of marker on the screen of like what you've completed. Like it should, I should get like a little flag of saying like completed uh, spring two with minion right now somewhere on this character screen or something or some type of like color changes background. I don't know. Little satisfying things like that really make you want to like complete it with everyone rather, rather than just unlock it. At least to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm obsessive and weird, but it does help. Anyways, I hope you guys like the video. I hope you all are enjoying this game as much as I am. Uh, we could let me know if I should unlock some other weapons. Uh, other weapons other animals i'm not changing the cat cat stays forever but uh i could be convinced to get a penguin or salamander or something but yeah let me know anyways i'll see y'all next time have a great day jeff out bye